Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee with Kairos. And I am Dr. Frank and we have Dr. Rick. The reason you we're telling you is because you may not recognize us with our Corona beards. So um, what we want to do today is I want to go over a couple things with you. We're going to touch on the virus again real quick. You're going to get an article from me and it's titled Lessons from Italy, What We Can Learn from the Italians. We found out that of those who died, unfortunately, who died from the coronavirus in Italy, 99 point something percent died, had pre-existing conditions like the top three were heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. And if I remember correctly, it's like 70 something percent had high blood pressure and then 30 something percent had um, heart disease and 30 something percent had diabetes. So what's the key thing we can learn here? Let's get healthy. Coronavirus or not, let's get healthy. And what do we need to do to get healthy? First of all, we probably should get adjusted, right? Definitely. Why? Because it helps boost your immune system, helps your body function better, and you can deal with your stressors in everyday life. We had one of our patients today, who's obviously not a chiropractor, brand new patient, said to me that uh, we need to get adjusted. He says, I get it. We need to get adjusted because we need to get that communication going so your body knows what to do. Good point. What else should we do? Vitamins is the one thing. Exercise. Exercise. What else? I think we'll save the vitamins for last, right? Okay. Sleep. Positive mental attitude. Positive mental attitude. Oh, all right. They told me I was going to go along on this video, and I said I wouldn't, but I am. A story about twins. Identical twins. One was very, very, very pessimistic, and one was very, very optimistic. And the parents didn't know what to do, so they took them to the doctor. The doctor said, I have a plan. Their birthday's coming up. For their birthday, give one a brand new bicycle with all the bells and whistles on it. Give the other one a box of horse poop. So they did it. And they gave the pessimist the bicycle, and they gave the optimist the, the, the horse poop. And once they gave it to him, they opened him up, and the pessimist grabbed the bicycle and said, uh, great, I'll probably wind up crashing it anyways. And the optimist opened up the box of poop and said, it's horse poop. It was this much horse poop, there's gotta be a pony around here somewhere. So we need a positive mental attitude. That's an example of it right there. And then finally, we're going to talk about nutrition. We always say avoid dairy, grains, and sugar. Very, very important. Those things create inflammation, bring your immune system down. But we should also supplement. I'm talking really fast because I just supplemented with four shots of espresso. Carry out, of course, from DiMaggio's. But besides that, what should we start with, Dr. Rick? Let's start with the multivitamin. Good idea. We have alpha berries. It is our multivitamin. It actually covers our, all all the gambit. But uh, what else would you like to say? Dr. We like to call it spackle. It fills in all the possible deficiencies, and it's a great foundational vitamin, alpha base, because it's a great foundational vitamin that'll cover any possible nutritional deficiencies you may have. Okay. Now you can't fit a multivitamin into one little pill. We find that this little pill sometimes we'll actually see it on X-rays. Doctor Mike pointed that out to me one time and said, "There it is." So these are capsules, they break down real easy, and they're a three to six a day, depending on your nutritional status and your health. Uh, alpha base is very high in B vitamins. You don't need extra B. You really don't need a whole lot of extra stuff with our alpha base. What else? Fish oil. Fish oils, you can't put that in a multivitamin. It's separate, it's an oil. And we don't eat enough deep sea fish. Some people are concerned about deep sea fish because it's contaminated with mercury and cadmium and heavy metals. So these are molecularly distilled, they're very clean. 60% of your brain is made of the active ingredient in fish oil. 60% of your brain is made of this. So when your grandparents told you fish was brain food? Absolutely correct. They were right. Now we can combine, and we have these neat little packets, okay? There's little packets in here, there's 30 of them, which contain three of the alpha base, one fish oil, and an antioxidant. So this is a pretty good idea, and it's a little more economical because you're not paying for bottles. What else we got? Let's go into orthobiotic. Why is that good? Probiotics is great for the lining of the intestines and helps you boost your immune system. For those of you who don't like kimchi or sauerkraut or other fermented foods, it's the way to go. There's nothing in yogurt. By the time you pasteurize yogurt, you kill all the active bacteria. So one a day of these is a great idea. What percentage of your immune system is in your intestines? 90%. A whole bunch, okay? So, uh, so you want your intestines to be very, very healthy. Next is vitamin D. We got three kinds of vitamin D. We've got a liquid for people who don't like to swallow pills, or like me, I put it in my protein shake. Okay, we have pills which are 5,000 units each, okay? And then we have 50,000s. Most everybody in North America is deficient, are deficient in vitamin D. 
Okay, they did a study in San Diego. Everybody was deficient. Sunny every day, but we were closed and we work indoors. So if you're really, really low, we may give you the 50 thousands. Otherwise, you want about 40 units per pound of body weight for maintenance. So the average adult might take somewhere between five and 10,000. What else? We have Remag. Remag. Magnesium. This magnesium we use because they tell us it's 90% absorbable. Most magnesiums out there are only between five and 50% absorbable. Well, if you take a, the normal dose, the amount that you need, and you're only absorbing 50%, that means another 50% stays in your intestines. Hence, milk and magnesia, you wind up with the runs. So, probably should have said the runs. Maybe there's a better word for it. But anyways, this one here gets absorbed and the what? The trots. <laughs> That reminds me of a joke. Um, so you want to take this one here. One downside, it tastes horrible. You mix it in water and lemon juice, you hardly taste it, but highly absorbable. What's magnesium for? 10% of all the magnesium in your body is stored in your heart. Very important for heart function, important for muscle function. We get way too much calcium in our diets, not enough magnesium, so everything gets tight. Calcium makes things tight, magnesium loosens it up. If you're having trouble sleeping at night, magnesium is the way to go. The last one would be pico silver. Now, these are mainly for everybody to take every day. Pico silver is like a natural antibiotic. Hey, Dr. Mike, come on over here. You read something about pico silver, didn't you? You were pretty impressed with it? Yeah, very impressed with it. So, pico silver, actually, the first review I saw about it online was talking it's about natural. a dog that was run over by a car. They brought it into the vet. The dog then, they determined, was going to need to have an amputation of that leg. They sent it home and the owner started to look to somebody holistically, what can I do to help the dog? The dog, they then started putting Pico Silver in his drinking water. They also started putting Pico Silver right on the wound. Seven days later, they retracted the need for the amputation for the dog. So highly antimicrobial Pico Silver. So what they recommend is, especially nowadays with the whole Corona thing, you can put it in a spray bottle, spray the back of your throat. Now one of our patients asked if they can spray Crown Royal in the back of their throat. And the answer was absolutely not. This will work better. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day, a great week, and we'll catch up with you next week. Bye.